In a Docker container, there are usually very few processes running. So consider the following Dockerized node container right here called WB Server C. What I'm doing is executing the command ps-e against it. And this command shows all running processes on the system across all users. PS stands for process status, and the dash E essentially means all processes. And note how there are only two processes running. The main process, which runs the node app, and then the PS-E that we were running against the container. And so the reason there are so few processes running is containers are designed to run a single main process, like the Node.js application in this instance. There's also no traditional init system, like systemd or init, running in most containers. And processes inside a container are isolated and don't see the host's processes. And so even further, Docker doesn't run many processes as containers don't run a full operating system. Instead, they share the host's kernel. And this is also the design of Docker. Instead of stuffing many processes into one container, each container runs a single process. And then you can spin up as many containers as you need to handle each process. I want to thank you for liking and subscribing. Check out my courses and software in the description. Take it easy.